again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Foundation for the continuation of the building of Raptoria. Today, we complete the construction of our wonderful church, and we can finally upgrade ourselves a surf. So let's go ahead and upgrade somebody who is, uh, I guess, not so important like a transporter and do the dirty. I clicked and tapped that pay 20 button, but I want you to click or tap that subscribe button if you're new here the like button if you'd like to see more of this and the join button if you want to support me even further and i want to thank everybody who has done that so far you guys have been fantastic yeah i know so thank you very much this game is a lot of fun so those of you following on twitter i know a lot of people have been messaging me asking me if i have any keys so i will uh, definitely get to giving those out if the developers give me some more very soon we've unlocked a whole new tier of items to build so that's awesome we've got ourselves a uh, a lot of new stuff here to uh, construct and to decorate with as well, like wooden gates, decorative bushes, and fences. So that's going to be a lot of fun, as well as my favorite soon. Soon we will build walls. I know you guys you guys love it when I build with those walls, don't you? That's, that's right. You guys just can't get enough. All right, well, let's see here. We're going to finish off the church here today so we can increase splendor and a few other things. And we're going to continue to expand the wonderful town. So I'm just going to try to make it so that way people take our... Uh, I want to force them to take our bridge. There we go. So I'm going to tell them to... Uh, Take the bridge to go into the church and that is almost done which should increase our overall happiness in the village in the meantime the only thing we're really trading is berries so we've got everybody working there as quickly as possible and let's see we must have some unemployed a few newcomers to the town so let's keep assigning everybody some good jobs here let's see what else we can do three out of three forgers there looks like we got a little uh opening there as well so eventually we're going to start making uh some uh, fabric and then eventually cloth and such will be used on building uh, more and more food stalls so we can get more and more people in the town so that is a good news uh, situation for all of us it's good news bears i'm going to go ahead and remove some of the residential area up here and we're just going to try to cut down all the stuff north of the north of the town there oh it looks like a lot of people are wanting to move into the town that's good news for me yes sir indeed let's go ahead and ask our people to build some homes here too and glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section. You guys have been awesome. So thank you very much for all that support. Ah, beautiful. Hopefully our people end up building some more homes there as needed. We can also build another forger there if we need to. And it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to uh, continue to focus on food gathering. So let's build another uh, gatherer hut here. Maybe another two of those there. There we go. Actually, I forget I can hold shift to do that. There we go. But we'll just build two here for now. And then eventually we'll use that up there as a backup. Fantastic. So we're almost ready to expand again. Oh, it looks like the... Uh, look at that. Awesome. The splendor of our village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Beautiful. Oh, we got our little bridge there. Oh, the little bridge didn't kind of... Uh-oh. It didn't really turn out the way I was hoping. <laughs> it kind of went into the mountain and not... Uh-oh. Well, that's all right. Everybody will be forced to use it, so... There you go. I'll rebuild it later and make it look pretty. But for now, it, at least it functions. So that's good. People, you're in violation. Please use my bridge. Thank you. Yay! All right. Now everybody's using the bridge. Cool. Well, that's nice. At least it looks pretty good. But whatever. I wish there was terraforming in this game. That'd be awesome. But now we've got our lovely little church constructed. Good. All right. Very nice. Now, we've got new splendor and such. So let's go ahead and unlock some new things that we'll definitely need. Uh, we can have a wooden keep, a wooden wall large stone walls looks like that's pretty much the only thing we have for now what would be the best thing for us though uh probably the wooden keep we can now start building our military buildings so let's go ahead and do that today we'll go ahead and unlock the wooden keep for starters and then we can start sending our people on missions so we're going to build a military base up here so i'm going to need to unlock the territory first uh so let's see if we uh, do we get any free territories looks like we have to buy this one for 500 there so we'll take uh buy land for 500 alex Okay, this mediocre at best YouTuber is streaming and view <laughs> you're watching his videos right now. Uh, what is Raptor doing? That is correct. Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Double Jeopardy. Final answer. Okay, fantastic. Let's go ahead and cut down some more trees. And what we're going to do with this area is, again, turn it into our military base. So all of our uh, lo wonderful loggers should be able to come up here. And we got a little bit of iron, too. So we should be able to start making some weapons shortly. We also need to get our money up, but that doesn't matter because global happiness is high. And uh, right now, our only money is coming in from, uh, from, uh, our only cash is coming in right now from the uh, lovely and fantastic berries. Let's see. Eventually, we're going to start getting some fish, but I do have to unlock that. As you saw, down our estate manager, in order for me to get fishing, we're going to have to uh, get to a six splendor. And right now, we're sitting at, uh, 
Uh, let's see, a 17.5. So, oh, we need to get to 20 serfs, though. So we need more people living in the town. So we're about halfway there. Then we'll get the Fisher's Hut going. And then we'll also get uh, more stuff here as soon as the military base is up. And then also unlocking rustic parts for the church. But we just need to let a li little bit of time pass before we do that. Okay, well, this is great. The, the church looks really nice. I'm going to add some nice little bushes and do some decorations in the meantime. Just to make things look nice. Oh, the green shows you how it affects uh, buildings around it. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's make the neighborhood look a little nicer then. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful copyright. Okay, let's try a few more bushes here and there. Maybe uh, Jeb and a Bush Senior there. And then a Junior in the back. There we go. All right, let's try to add a few little decorations to the church, I guess. People actually do like living near the church. I think it, it the building itself has its own decoration value. There we go. So we'll just add a little bit of something there. And then some fences, too. Why not? Let's add uh, maybe a fence over here. The horse, by the way, for quests and such, or the envoy, as it's called, comes up here. So maybe we'll make this as kind of like a little thing for him to... There we go. For him to tie his horse to or something. I don't know. It looks nice, though. And let's add a wooden gate. It looks like a lot of people are trying to come through the town up here. But let's have them come through here. And we'll make our wooden gate uh, right there, I suppose. There we go. And we'll have our people uh, who try to visit our town. We'll tell them to come through the other side. So let's make all this land forbidden. And that should force them to come through up there. I hope, anyway. All right, cool. So then uh, hopefully new people who come in, they'll stop coming from this way. And they'll start uh, going down this way and make their way through the forest. And we'll make a gate up there soon enough. All right. One person decided to join us. Awesome. I think we're still lacking some homes. But again, it's on the AI to build those. Wow, look at all the people standing around. Let's make sure all of our jobs are taken. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, we got quite a few unemployed. So let's add some more people to the stonecutter camp. Let's add some people to gathering huts. And I certainly want to keep bringing in the berries. Yeah, we'll keep going for more berries. Looks like we still have more. So let's add another person maybe to the granary so they can go out and grab some of that food. And that way it can come to the marketplaces. We're going to build another food stall, but we need cloth, so I need to unlock uh, sheep and such. So it either has to be unlocked here or through Splendor. And I don't think we're close enough to that just yet. So uh, we do have our 10 newcomers, so we need 20 serfs now. So what are we up to now? we got 10 serfs, so we just need to upgrade the livelihood of our inhabitants by giving them homes, jobs, and food. And it looks like most people are being fed. So that's good. Let's see here. I also want to assign somebody to be at our manor. As a matter of fact. Uh -huh. So we're going to do that very soon. Oh, hold on a second. There we go. Yes, thank you. Fantastic. Kind of weird how they give you access to a gate, but not like the wall to actually build, uh, you know, like... You, you can't actually build a, a wall around your town. So you can't really fortify or anything at the moment and make it look like a, a settlement or something. All right, at least cash is coming in. No quests at the moment. So we need to get those serfs upgraded. Let's see if there's any other ways. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's use the owner's manual to upgrade serfs. How do we, how do we increase happiness, production chain, supply markets, raise an army? Oh, there's no way. It doesn't show exactly how to do that, I think. Complete delivery quests, expand territory. Huh. There's no thing on how to better increase. I, I know the ways to do it, but I wonder if there's any other ways. Of course, giving your people a variety of food increases happiness. Ah, good. Three people are coming to the village now. Wow. Got way too many people in the village. Let's see. We're not cutting down any of these trees anymore. That's nice. And it looks like we're cutting down all those trees. Good. Well, let's get our people, actually, let's get our, our loggers focused on clearing the military area so we can now raise ourselves an army. So you find loggers can now start working up here, if you please. And they'll go up there to start cutting down trees. Looks like the envoy wants to speak with us. Excellent. Uh, let's see, my lord, we need to choose who we want to help. Oh, oh, good. Now here's where we can actually get some more splendor. So let's see. I would like to get some splendor with... If we get with the kingdom, we can unlock wooden walls and stone walls. If we do it with the church, uh, looks like we can unlock uh, additional parts for the church. 
Uh, looks like we need to have Splendor 20 here under labor. Look at all the stuff for labor. But we just need the serfs to unlock it. and We're getting closer. We need commoners as well. Uh, so let's see. I think the best move, if we actually max out labor, then we can start focusing on, like, clergy next, which I think generates by us upgrading the church. So we can add additional parts to that without even having additional parts, if it, if it makes sense. We can just add another tower. So let's go ahead and do something for labor. So let's assist the... Uh, yeah, we'll assist the people. There we go. And let's deliver. All right, quest complete. Good. So now we've got all the splendor needed. We just now need the people. Cool. My lord, you can promote some of your villagers to higher statuses. All right, now we can get all the people that we need. So we promoted one person. Now let's promote a few more. So we want to, uh, let's see, we want 20 commoners. We need 20 serfs, though, so let's upgrade some people. Actually, let's promote all. Yeah. There we go, promote to to surf. So now we have all these commoners. Now I wonder if we upgrade 20 serfs to commoners and we only have commoners, will that be enough? Looks like here we won't have enough, but let's do that. Uh, promote to commoner. Uh, we don't have enough cash anymore. Okay, that's fine. Well, now we can finally get our fisher's hut and our hedges. Unfortunately, uh, we do not have access to the coastline, but I'm going to pay the fees on those. And then we'll uh, start working down the kingdom line. But first, we want to build our military. That is our goal today, everybody, to boost the Raptorian military. Absolutely. We might be able to build a little fisher hut here, but, like, you'd need a ladder to get down there or something. That'd be crazy. So we'll probably buy a territory here. And the cool thing in the game is once you start going on military quests, boom. Every time you are successful in a military campaign, the king allows you to expand. So that's a really good thing. And houses are upgrading too. That's even better. Excellent. Now they can hold more people. Six people. That's awesome. Very good. Our capacity to house our people it will be uh, greater now. Excellent. Awesome. Now I, I'm tempted to build a wall now. Uh, I'm going to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we built some nice houses over there. Very nice. Oh, we could probably build some hedges around the church. But that might hinder movement. So, I don't know. Ah, good. More homes are upgrading. That's beautiful. Look at that. Another house being upgraded because they're being supplied with everything they need. Money's going up. Happiness is pretty good i like to see it even higher, but let's now start working on our wooden keep. Let's start building our military uh, building. Now, we need 100 gold to start construction, uh, but I'm going to build it. I'm going to at least start with a basic building, and then we can upgrade it later. So, uh, technically, I probably should build it out here, but I want to put it, put it in our own territory. And that'll be the gate there, so we'll put the keep. The keep needs to be up high, doesn't it? So I guess we'll put it right here. And that's going to cost us 37 gold? I thought it said 100. Upfront cost is 100 plus another 37, I guess. Depending on how high we make it, I guess. Yeah, so we want this to be like our m mega outpost. There we go. And if you can put that on top, there we go. Excellent. Now, like a little stairwell to get up there. Oh, wow. Look at these stairs here. I think our stair could just be on the ground floor, yeah. Unless... Looks like we can put some stuff on the second floor, but I don't know what goes up there. But let's build a covered door. There we go. Alright, I think we're going to start construction. We just need the hundo on the gold. So as soon as we hit 100, we can start work on our military uh, outpost, which will give us a nice look over the harbor and the, actually both harbors or both ports very nice alright now we're just, wait oh this is great, so many people are upgrading houses, this is good news they're upgrading and building fresh homes beautiful, absolutely fantastic good job everybody wow this is, this is probably the most beautiful town I've ever built yet the houses are a little crammed together though which is a little unfortunate I can't really, you know, determine where they build their homes, except for if I build a blurb but sometimes the AI is really, re these people are really picky about where they build their homes. But whatever. So long as they have a house, that's good with me. And it looks beautiful. Look at this. That's gorgeous. I love that. What a quaint little start. All right. We almost have enough cash for our uh, construction of the bar There we go. Excellent. Barracks are starting to be constructed now or wouldn't keep. Beautiful. So that should raise our military splendor as well. So that'll, our kingdom rather. 
So that'll allow us to spend more points on wooden walls and whatnot. And then eventually we can get the Hunter's Keep and then go down to the Weaponsmith and then eventually get trade bonuses, which will really help us late game for cash since a lot of stuff is very expensive. Uh, we'll keep cutting down all the trees off this island. I think we don't want any trees on this island. We don't want anybody sneaking up on us. So we'll do it that way. Good. And another person joining us. That's beautiful. Excellent. All right. Now I can build a wooden fence here so we can really make it look like a military base as soon as we unlock that. Very nice. We have no planks. All planks are going towards construction, it seems. Oh, and probably home upgrades. So we should probably build another one of those. So what do we have for unemployed? Uh, let's see. Yep, we got a few unemployed, so let's build another... Actually, wait. Let's first max out our current jobs, uh, which is here. Yep. So let's go ahead and increase the amount of gatherers. So I definitely want to keep food up. And then I want some people working in the towers. Oh, zero out of zero. So apparently we can't have jobs for that. Okay. And then we'll assign an extent. I don't know exactly what this does yet for the... Uh, Oh, here we are. Multiply building part splendor by two. Ooh. Very nice. Let me go ahead and hire somebody for that then. Actually, I think I have to click on the extension itself. Wow, that's an interesting construction method. Ah, yes, the Raptorian method of putting toothpicks up and then building a way too heavy structure on top of it. Ah, yes, the way of our people. <laughs> ah, here we are. Uh, study room. Let's assign Maria to that. Maria, our scientist. Go you go, girl. Get that science done. Do it. All right, now, uh, planks, yes. So how many people do we have available for wood cutting? Oh, now we just have an unemployed person, okay. Well, we'll build another sawmill then. So let's build, uh, yep, they're all looking good there. So let's build another sawmill. Jobs are all full. We'll build another sawmill over here if we can. So this has negative influence, that red circle. We want to keep it away from other buildings, other residential homes. And I don't want to build it on the coast, like in the sand. So I guess we'll just build it over here. Some of these people will be unhappy, but we'll boost it by putting down some fountains and things later. Or a well. People really like building near the well, so uh, let's build another one of those too. Really increases happiness in that area. And then encourage home building on those spots. So let's get people to build houses here too. There we go. All right, looks like a lot of people are joining us now. Construction is almost complete on the fort. Looks like they're just bringing up the rest of the materials. And look at that, we got a lot of planks here again. Very good. Well, planks to all the uh, loggers that we have helping us today. They're doing a great job. Absolutely. I want to leave a little. Some of these areas with trees are just so lovely. I'm going to actually make a, a path here through the forest. There we go. Looks like some of these people are... You guys are going through the forbidden areas. Hey, come on, use my cool roads. Don't you guys want to use my cool roads that are super cool? Come on now. <laughs> there we go. Eventually we'll delete that. But it doesn't seem to be causing any problems now. I've gotten in trouble with that before where it'll hinder me from doing what I'm supposed to, but... All right, so long as we keep an eye on that, that should be fine. Ah, that looks nice. Yeah, I want everybody using my, my cool roads. There we go. All right, well, happiness is at, if that, yeah, look at this. We got no warnings. Happiness is at 98%. Money's just pouring in. We'll be able to go on quests and bring in even more cash. Our Lord Manor is definitely holding a lot of good money for us. Beautiful. And we can do even more if we want to. All right, let's add some villagers. Good. And we need some more loggers, though. I think the ratio that you want to have is almost two to one. So for every one sawmill that you have, you want to have two logging camps because logs are also a necessary base resource. I love that music. It's so good. All right, let's also put down some more lumber camps then. Looks like the logging... Camps. Oh, we have Fisher's Hut. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have bakeries unlocked. Ah, wonderful. The wheat farms. Look at this. Now we can start making cloth. Beautiful. So now what I can do is uh, we can actually make uh, some of that stuff up here. So as soon as we clear that area out, I'll make this for industry, 
But I want to do all of our farming over here. This is a huge area. Perfect for farms. Perfect for sheep. Perfect for logging. And then we can tuck our town into this valley here and keep everyone close to the uh, food sources and stuff. So we're really making good progress here. Big O crazy insanity progress. Awesome. Okay, uh, where are we going now? So I'd like to build... Yeah, we can do uh, all this stuff. Sheep farms and all that. Oh, so good, so, so good. But we need to make sure we keep the basic resources coming in. So let's build another saw... Nope, not sawmill. Lumber camp. There we are. And I'll build this one over here. Actually, maybe we should build one up here close to the... Uh, yeah, it's going to be a while that they're going to be working up here. And then we'll start cutting up here, too. So let's go ahead and put this logging camp right here. And then eventually when we put down a forger, or not a forger, a forester, we'll be able to uh, make our Subaru payments on time. No, we're going to be able to uh, regrow trees, and we can also put a forge, uh, forester here, so that way we can constantly have an income of trees. So that's going to be a really hot industrial zone, hot industrial action here on the channel. You guys are going to love it, believe me. All right, let's, let's promote some serfs. And let's promote some commoners. There we go, unlocking some new stuff now. Plant arch decorative tree, dairy farm, and cheese maker. What? I didn't even know we had that. That is awesome. Coal huts. Oh, that is beautiful. Cooperage, blacksmith. Yeah, we can make wine here too and all the barrels and stuff needed for it. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I think we can make honey as well. All right, let's put some decorative trees down into our town. Let's try to buffer that uh, grossness of the lumber mill out. There we go. We'll put a little tree there. Maybe another... No, let's put another tree here. There we go. I'll add uh, maybe two more trees to the area. Let's see. Spoiling us, my lord. I know. With the two with the two trees. Wrapped in the big spender with two trees. I know. There we go. But those wells make the area more appealing. Oh, oh. Sorry, sir. I didn't know you wanted an audience. Oh, that's fine. We don't really need any more splendor at the moment. Uh, the military will get us up quite a bit. So what we re really need now is commoners. That's not a big deal anymore. The, the splendor is just fine. In fact, let me take a look here. Um, yeah, splendor is... That's just what we use to unlock stuff, so we're all good. A uh, house is upgrading. Wonderful. God, those upgrades are so perfect. Ah, and the camp is almost complete, too. Anything else I can upgrade in the meantime? No, we have the... Hedges unlocked. I want to go for the wooden wall next. Yeah, that'll take uh, three influence and splendor, the two things we want to spend. But we'll eventually get more influence once we go on a mission for the king. So all of the remaining people who are unemployed will put in the military. So we'll keep a few of these people unemployed for a little bit. And we're out of logs again. So actually, let's assign them to logging if that was complete. It is. Oh, good. So everybody else will go towards military. So now we have three of those camps working. Beautiful. Three lumber camps working full time. I'm going to add another one. All right, there we go. Let's plop that one down over here. Good. Very, very good. This is probably the best camp that I've ever made. Oh, guys, alert. Everything is okay. We have a high alert. Everything is all right. Okay. Good. Glad the, the OK alarm is, is OK. Good. All right. So we've got plenty of stone. Good planks. Could use some more lumber or some logs. Ah, but the berries are very good. And we're trading those like no tomorrow as well. We just have a lot of it coming in. Look at all those foragers work. Go, baby. Nice. I want to decorate things more by building little fences around them and just making them look a little more lovely, I suppose. We'll have to make a nice road that actually goes up to the uh, camp itself, up to the military base. So make a little fence, maybe, that goes around here. There we go. And we'll put one on the back side here, too. Just making it look nice. That's all. Another lumber camp is complete. Good. All right, I don't want people walking up this way anymore, so let's forbid this land here. You are forbade. Forbotten. Forbotten. There you go. And we'll let people walk up through the the uh, the little uh, rock camp now. 
There we go. So that'll separate the neighborhood from the uh, industrial sites. So that way it's not crazy. And we can add more walls and hedges. We can make it look nice. I'll build like a tree wall there or something. It'll look really nice. All right. Forger could not find accessible resource. Yeah, oh, oh, I know why. Yeah, the berries are out. That's why. So they have to go elsewhere. So on occasion, our berries will run out. Yep, here too. So they'll have to go up here, for example, to forge. So they'll have to go a long distance now. There we go. We'll approve that one for extraction. And then... Uh, I guess we're out of space until we start doing more military objectives. All right, let's make this absolute top, top priority. We must complete this. We need 190 uh, planks to be delivered. And we're at, what, 120. Okay, so that brings us up to 140, and more planks will be made. So the military is the top priority right now. So all lumber should be, or all logs should be turned into lumber. I'm going to assign any other villagers. Good. And it looks like they're all full up, so that's good. Very good. And I want them to cut the path here through the trees. Very nice. Maybe we'll cut a little, little area out there. Now, I don't know if these trees regrow naturally or not, so I, that's why I'm trying to leave some of them alone so it doesn't look clear-cut. Otherwise, it kind of looks a little uh, sad, really. Like me. All right. This all looks good. Military camp is going to be completely cleared. By the time that military camp is done, we should be able to buy more territory over here for free. And look, at, man, there's there's so much lumber there. Man, there's an entire lumber yard sitting there. Mm, tasty. I can just taste the wonderful uh, profits. The mahogany. Can you taste it, kids? The pine, the oak, the hickory, the applewood smoked bacon. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Berries are coming back. Cool. Well, let's try a few fences then. Let's add a nice little hedge here to separate the uh, lovely neighborhood from the... Uh, Hey, if people are still walking through there, that's an unauthorized area. There should be a way, I forget, there's a way to turn on curves, too, so you can actually, like, curve it and make it look uh, nice. You can actually make the, uh, oh, there it is, shift, left tick, extend, uh, left click on wall section, toggle curving. Yeah, okay. So how do I do that exactly? Left click on wall section. Eh, I figured it out before. It's fine. Should be a way to do that. Ah, oh, there it is. There it goes. Oh, well, I don't want it to curve. The oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh. Actually, hold on a second. Aha. Aha, check that out. Cool. Well, these people uh, definitely don't want to live next to the uh, to the forager camp like that, but we can make it look prettier. There we go. Did I tell you people not to go there? Hey. Disobey me. Okay. Oh, wow, look at all these houses being upgraded, dude. That's where some of our planks are going as well. They're going towards home upgrades. So that is amazing. Look at all the people going to church. Beautiful. They all need Jeebus. And we can't assign a priest, apparently. I don't think that's a thing yet in the game. I don't think you can do that, though they plan to do that in the future. Let's see if there's a job for that. Is there a priest? Uh, I don't see him listed. That's all good. All right, let's see this military camp get done today. Come on, boys. 190. Get that lumber up here. Should assign some more builders, maybe. How many builders do we have? Oh, wow, we have a few level 5 builders. This is a rather large project, so I guess we'll kind of wait on that. And we'll need some of these people for the military anyway. So as soon as it's done, we'll check back in a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a wooden keep. There it is, all done. Let's assign some soldiers then. All of our unemployed, cool. So I think if we get a high enough number, I think it's like maybe, I can't remember, five to ten people 
working in there. We already have five. I think it might be ten. We can go out on quests and complete them, so that'll give us free territories. That is it for today's episode. You all have been fantastic. Glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for leaving your likes, subscribing, all that great stuff. You're all wonderful. So thank you, as always, for the support. See you soon. Goodbye.